All right. Well, let's go and where am I at? What is that over there? Oh. Is that a gloom-tainted well? That's interesting. All right, I'm gonna go fight that, and then we'll go fight the gloom-tainted well, maybe? Or we'll see about the well. Yeah. Let's go take a look at the well. Extraction number 10. I know, right? Hello. Uh, don't hit them, kid. No, no, no. I need these for armor. Well, let's, uh, let's take a look at it, yeah. Boom armor time. Oh, does it just... I don't think I'm gonna be able to ascend back. Where the fuck are we? Oh, okay, there's water here. Man, sometimes you, like, don't find water when you start uh, digging your well, and you just uh, keep on going. Tell well girl to avoid this one. No, no, no. Just tell her to hit this one last. Well, there's a couple moblins here, so, uh, you know, I do need those moblin parts. Shot, kid. Damn. Oh good, this one didn't notice I was here. <laughs> was very convenient. Lots of good parts there. The Muddle Blood is like, I want to watch some monster fighting, like, pay-per-view. <laughs> and I need to go find some more, uh, I need to pay for some more statue locations, because, uh, Get a lot more stuff. Huh. 
I wonder if this area is, like, completely, like, sectioned off by the gloom, and the only way to get down here is via the well, or driving a car. Well, I don't think I need to be here. I don't see a light flower, real, like, right nearby or anything. Oh! Can I just make a balloon and go back? I've never tried going back up. That was close. No launch pad. Yeah, the only reason I put two there was to balance it out so I wouldn't get, like, a tipping thrust going. I like how there is a actual well basket right here. Someone tried to put the bucket down. That is not level. There we go. Oh, and then I need... Uh, do, 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 do. Ooh, I'm getting low on flame emitters. I might have to go get one more soon. All right. To the surface. I think we might actually be able to do it. I don't know if we're going to get out through the well hole, though. Oh god, we still have a ways to go. I see a little tiny speck of light way the hell up there. I just need to get close enough that it lets me use a scent. I don't think any of it's flat enough to let me. Oh, oh, oh. 
Oh, we doing it. Oh, we stuck. We stuck. Okay. Well, shit. <laughs> it was worth a try. <laughs> okay. Now we need to be not distracted. Let's go save Princess Zelda. I'm amazed we got all that way up there, though. Like, the game let me get all the way to the opening of the well, which was pretty insane. So, in theory, if you have a bigger one, you could fly up to it and be fine. Alright, since we're gonna have some Yiga clan, let's get our good blade on. Good. don't know where... I, th I think I was going to look at those rocks. I was thinking that the, the boulders might have been roughly where they wanted us to go. Oh, there's no wheels. I was going to make a rocket cart. Okay, let me read the quest log again, because I need to figure out what I'm doing. Let's see. We've taken Zelda to the carved-out heart of the Towering Twins. Okay. I mean, that... That seems real specific. I mean, higher than anyone else I've seen try... To get out that way? Nice! I mean, I lined it up really well, and it did let me gently bounce off the walls. There might be a cave over on that side. All these little guys are back because we have the Blood Moon, yeah. Ooh, these rot lumps of metal? Ooh, hell yeah. They actually are worse than the boulder, though. Interesting. I think I figured that out last time, too. Question. Oh. I cannot fuse the boulder to an arrow. I think this investigation might go a little bit quicker if I took a more vertical approach and came back down. Wait, just go to the quest marker? Oh. Used to watch me play ARK PvP back in the day? Yeah! Old Sur Sur uh, Survival of the Fittest. That was a blast. Oh, I literally can go back to the stable. Alright. <laughs> Whatever, we'll just jump off over here then. Uh, get my glidey suit on. Good. Actually, I did want to go murder these people and do that Korok. Distractions! Yeah, no, I think it's just Pen again, but that kind of looks like where they are. Yep, that that's the Yiga clan right there, so. We'll go do this Korok, we'll pop a send, we'll fly back, we'll get that Korok over there. Damn, there's so many Koroks on this mountain. And then we'll go beat those guys up, fly across, and I'm pretty sure I saw a cage with some fire, so that probably is Yiga clan. But yeah, I think most of these investigation quests, they just mark Pen back again. Really, game? How dare. 
Well, you know what? Screw you, I have a solution for this. I don't know how expensive it is, but... Yeah, we'll do 12, sure. I feel like being spiteful. The Great Fairy was the stable mark. Ah. Oh. <laughs> oh. Well, it's not often they give us this opportunity. Wow, game. There we go. Wow, game. Real disappointing on that one. The other red guy is still fully healthy? Wow. I thought he would be uh, much more dead. Take your food. Don't fall down the cliff, please. Fall over that way. Ah, no guts. Damn it. Need guts. I don't know where this guy's. Oh, he, he actually landed up where I could get him. Nice. Oh, now I remember the puzzle. Is that boulder still up here? Because that was that was the puzzle. You rolled the boulder down the hill between the two trees. I think I got off rid of my boulders. But the good news is I didn't have to climb all the way up here from scratch. Because that would have sucked. Yeah, the boulders didn't respawn. Sadness. Fear not, Zelda, I have come to save you. Man, it's so glad that you're randomly here in this cage and not, you know, some being of light zipping around the timeline. Yep. Damn, I was hoping I could get, like, a picture of Zelda, and it would, like, give me a bonus or something. <laughs> the fuck are they? Ooh, ooh, yeah. Banana? Banana! Seems very intent at those bananas. I'm on duty self-control. <laughs> oh. 
You can save me. You recognize who I am, right? Zelda. That, that seems really weird that you would have to confirm that I knew who you were, considering... I mean, admittedly, I did lose all my memories the last time I had to come rescue you, so I guess it's not the weirdest thing, but... Save me. Quickly do something to open this cage. Okay. I'm, I'm sure I can get this cage open somehow. We're just gonna... <laughs> Don't worry, princess. I'm a trained professional. That should get the cage open. Hey, look! The cage is gone! <laughs> With a valiant golden-haired knight knows Link could move such a sturdy cage like that. I knew I'd lure you at some heroic wannabes if we use Zelda's bait, but we've even managed to snare you. Or once we find the real Zelda, we'll send her to join you. Promise. Alright, everybody, this is definitely the golden hair boy. Get him. Ooh, crowd fight. Alright, alright. Well, in that case. Ow. Oh, okay, this is actually a little annoying. All right. You stop fighting on the cliff. I want your loot to not go this way. These for now, don't get used to it. We'll hold back next time. Alright, yep. Yeah. Thanks for dropping your swords. Couldn't have brought at least a high level guy. That would have been real nice. Oh. Must have been an elite Yiga clan member to be able to maintain disguise for so long. <laughs> Secondly, the area for leads, I'm sure the word twins in the vicious letter was referring to dueling peaks. Mm. No, not sure. Found nothing anywhere at all around here. Oh yeah, I kicked their ass. Doctor. You can sense the letter to lure you into a trap. So you can give a hoot about you, partner. Kind of tooting your own horn here a little bit. <laughs> anyway, getting back a track there. There's huge relief knowing the Princess Zelda hasn't actually been kidnapped. Mm. Okay, so five leads. Nice. Oh. Talk to the lucky town club. Is it? <laughs> Trip's doing really well thanks to all the articles we keep putting together. Tracy told me we're both getting raises. Ooh, money. <laughs> so long. When do I get my next bonus costume piece? Okay, there's the weapons. Oh, wait, maybe that one of those is a... Uh... No, they're all eightfold blades. I do need a new eightfold blade, because I don't have a sneak strike thing. So I need to get rid of something. I mean, this lightning, lightning rod, pretty fun, but... We'll just fuse an eightfold blade to an eightfold blade for now. Wow, that really is weak. Uh, maybe we won't. Maybe we'll just wait till we actually let's put something really good on it. There we go. That's a pretty good, uh, sneak strike weapon. Alright. That takes care of that. We actually got rid of that. Look at all the Korok density up here. Let's see, actually, if the, uh, thing across the way respawned. 
No. All my stuff's still there, so the boulders probably wouldn't come back. Time to dive into the whirlpool. But, but, I don't want to do the whirlpool. I want to go do the pirates, which means I need to go get this tower. Which means I need to go back to the sky, because I can just fly over that way. I'm going to go get that tower, and then I'm going to go do the pirates. But I'm putting the whirlpool on the to-do list. And we are getting static, so let me go fix that real quick. All right. So we want to go... to the green marker. Now, was this... This is where we landed. Was where we assembled the plane nearby here? Did they give us the assembly thing? No, we need to go over here. I also never explored that little half of an island, so let me go check that out real quick. Maybe a treasure or something interesting up there. Nope, doesn't actually look like it. Boy, that's a lot farther over there than I thought. <laughs> Launch me! tower, and I can see the area where the uh, city is that is under control of pirates. So, excellent. Okay. Let's see how much useful stuff it remembers. It remembers the cage! So if you attach stuff to that cage, you could probably resummon the cage. Yep, you can take this cage back and use this. I'm sure people can incorporate that into some fun builds. I don't know if it's at all sturdy, but we shall see. We're not going to be flying the right direction, but I'm not going to say no to a fun ramp. tall skylines with this one, and there's another story piece that we need to get translated. Ooh, this one looks like it's, uh, in a monster base. It's good. It's been a little while since we've had to siege a monster base. Why is my... Oh, fuck. I love how the, uh, the plane vanished, but the rest of my parts stayed. Oh, this isn't a monster base, it's just the giant rib cage thing. Oh, 
hey! You guys are uh, Lurlin Village survivors. What is the reason for going to places not even appear by choice? Fishing town. Alright. Yeah, I'll go rescue your town. Also got into it, blink an eye, they ruined the whole village. Restaurant wife opened their house, everything gone. Cruising in their boat like a bunch of pirates. That's what we're calling them pirates. You're going to the coast, be careful, don't want them to spot you. Well, I know where their boat's parked, so. Alright, well anyway, we'll deal with the Korok later. Oh, that's not I was gonna put Korok on the map. You just like chilling out up here for a restaurant. Hi. Labor for the Skyview Tower. Imagine this rain makes your work rather difficult. Used to live in Lurland Village, band of pirates ransacked the town, escaped barely, and fled here. Just opened a restaurant in the village, it was destroyed like everything else. Serving foods that my sisters had never tried before. Mm. Okay, so they're like a discover new restaurant things. Oh, poor kids. Don't mind me just uh, helping myself to some supplies. Helping myself to some supplies. Oh, this is one of those, you, it's raining, so you can't, yeah, I see. The spikes would otherwise impede you. Except they're really not all that impede because they're just, like, right here. Yeah, there's a shield there, just for your particular needs. Can you bounce off a shield mushroom? Because that's two mushrooms next to shields. Kind of implies a shield mushroom is also a bounce. Favorite the cage for future use? I mean, sure, why not? I think I've got more room on the favorites. I don't know how big a favorite list it is, but... Let's see, Renegade! Oh no, it's so hard to get through this. I don't know how I will ever manage. Ow. Not what I meant to do. Oh. Well, that's a little bit of a problem. Ten pieces of wood, twenty rubies, 120 rubies. Cold up in the rain, so use them to warm up. Nobody call that a waste. Three tents, 20 or 300 rubies. Need a few more tents to keep the luggage and firewood dry in the rain, so I got them. Okay. Can't this let me start the whole thing on fire if I uh, drop a flint near here? So, then we just need to block this off, then. Well, you know, when in doubt, the solution to all the puzzles in this game are build a big bridge. 
because I see those two side pieces, so I can just skip with the formalities of actually making a proper structure. And just make one big bridge. Now, I have made the bridge out of something flammable, so i got to figure out this from the right perspective, but... I'm going to spread that way a little bit more towards the door. That'd be great. There it goes. As long as the roof doesn't catch on fire, I'm okay here. a fun little puzzle. Most people solve this one with a single plank leaned onto the door. Once saw someone do it with a pine cone. Well, dang. Alright. It's time to launch. Oh, wait. Hold on. Apply my spring... Up, up, and away! Ooh, hello, wizard tower. Survival Island. Ooh, there's even a gloom pit in Survival Island. That's cool. Alright. Ooh, there's like a little battlefield above that as well. All kinds of fun stuff going on. How do I get there? No, I don't think I'm gonna go fast enough. Shit. Alright. Well... Let's try launching again! Not a switch, Renegade. It is the Pura Pad. Even though Robbie did most of the work. He's very upset he didn't get naming rights. But he just didn't have the alliteration.
Well, this looks like a little fun travel thing. I'm sad that I didn't do this properly. An apple a day keeps Link away! how you can't lift things vertically high enough to break them sometimes. Like it should be a guaranteed break. Yes, this is all spring puzzle time. Ooh, we got a construct to fight. All right, all right. So, you get better time out of the wind gust, better moment to the ends, you can spam open and close your glider. Interesting. Oh my gosh! Oh, that's so cool. The little peninsula is actually a uh, tears thing. on this island. Let me guess, the guardian over there is protecting it? That'd be a fun one. I'll go fight a man rather than having to go deal with a puzzle. Yeah, new gachapon machine! Well, they gave me all the money I need to gamble, so uh, let's do some gambling right after we go get a teleport. I am not making that mistake again and accidentally falling off an edge or something. I want to go to the wizard tower. It looks so cool. Hey, the crystal is on him. Excellent. All right, I'm up for a fighting challenge. We'll launch ourselves straight into combat. I'll put my photo thing on so I don't forget. All right, show us our new gambling tools. What do we got? Anything new? Anything new? <laughs> I see a lot of control units. Ooh, small wheels. Oh man, it's we had the big wheels for so long, I didn't realize we were missing the small wheels. That's a good little set of acquisitions. Oh my god. The fuck? There's a Korok on the side! I don't even know how to solve that one. I'm gonna pin that one for later.
Ooh, good, some more Sundalions. I don't think I was getting low, but I can always use more. Wait, I'm not talking? Oh no, okay. I just wasn't really talking there. Alright, it's combat time! Alright, can we take a picture from here? What kind of construct was this? Three! Oh god! Okay! Well, this is gonna be fun! Okay, let's get our gear set up for this fight then. I mean, I guess we are still wearing best-in-slot stuff. We got the Yiga Bow for double shots. And we got the attack boost, so best weapon... That one. One, two, three, go! This is flux core. Man's hiding his core, isn't he? Yeah, I see you. I see you. Oh. That's a new one. Your ass back down here, boy. No damage! Boop, 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 boop. Boop, 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 boop. Holy fuck. What is this thing? Flux Construct 3 core? That is the coolest, most metal thing. Alright, alright. What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Um... We have the strong Zoanite sword, so we could use that. But we actually have a stronger base with this Zoanite sword. Because this one has a four attack up. So let's do that. <laughs> 45 damage. Man, we're gonna mess somebody up. Looks like the thing you just bought for your garden. About to go do some gardening. 
Now we have a slight issue. I gotta get this core over to that island. I mean, I have all these springs, so I could probably do it with the springs. Oh, we got some kind of contraption over there. Is this an adjustable spring launch device? I mean, I'm just gonna strap it to my bike and just fly it over. I feel like it's a strong, smarter plan. Oh no, never mind. If they really, wow, they really built this like real good. Like, yeah, no, I can work with that. Set it up like this. Oh. I, I, I feel like this would work better without this. There we go. Not be using this Yigabo for that, and I think I just knocked that off the cliff. I don't think it went far enough. Um. A laser shrine, what now? Okay, it comes back. <laughs> Also, uh, definitely marking this boss platform, because this one has a shrine attached to it, and it's a tier 3. I can come back and farm this guy every Blood Moon. Okay. Well, cool to get things on with all the shrines and stuff, but we making a bike. We just making a bike. You know, I really need to stop using Zonite to do that. I have all these parts. I just need to drop them on the ground. I keep forgetting to do so. Alright. That should work if I can get it to stand up for launch. Yeah, we should probably put that on the back fan, come to think of it. Yeah, this is going to be unstable at all. Here we go. Hmm. Damn it. There we go. I just need to use that as a kickstand. Too heavy! I do have a switch. Well, it looks like we're using the spring device. You can fly with it on the bottom? Can't fly with it on the bottom. So it's like a airflow kind of an issue here. Man, this game thinks of the physics. <laughs> 
Really? All right. Oh, we're up. We're up. We are way off balance. Oh, boy. Okay, so... Stay upright for me to get it going. Okay, new plan. Same bike plan, just a little bit bigger. Not really on the right spot, but... No, nope, nope, the physics are there. It was working. Okay, we are very not centered, though, that's the problem. Come on! Snap points. You know, I'm just gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna use the spring. I tried. I tried the bike, but
Oh, oh, that one was real close. There we go. This apple is like the key to the physics puzzles. As long as it just lands over there, I could walk it all the way to the goal. I mean, I could also add just an additional spring and just add way more oomph to it. You know, I might just do that. They gave us a million springs. Why not add another one? Three, two, one, lift off. It works. Three, two, one, reset. Oh, I broke it. There we go. Three, two, one, live ammunition. That oh, that almost would not have worked with me. All right. Anyway, finally. Also, I love how the entire problem would have been solved had I taken any of those floating platforms with the springs attached to them with me. Would have just instant solved this. But, you know, sometimes it's fun to do it the absolute hardest way possible, like trying to set it up and attach it to my sky bike. Alright, good, it's a free one. Ooh, power drains. Arrows can shoot much farther according to how long a shot is charged. What? All right, saving that boy. And then these free shrines give you all the good loot. All right, we almost have, like, enough to finish our ring of stamina, I think. No, it's six for stamina rings. Or is it five? If it's five, we can fit... No, it's probably six. Because that's two pieces. It might be five. 